Good afternoon. I'm Major General Jeff Ann. I'm the commander of Joint Task Force Civil Support, which is the lead weapons of mass destruction headquarters for Department of Defense under NORCOM. This defense supports civil authorities exercise, which we're doing here with our local communities and, and local partners is a, a, a key event for our preparation to where uh, DISCA Defense Support for Civil Authorities is in support of Homeland de Defense, which shows a very resilient population and shows a very a, a resilient force for our Homeland Defense for, for, for the strength of this nation. I'd like to thank everybody who participated here. Uh, 43 different organizations came together here, um, which is a national le level exercise uh, to, to, to where we ended up looking at different threats to the, to the local area. So uh, many thanks to go, go out to our first responders, going out to the local fire departments and, and back to the Georgia support across all of our inner agencies to, to make this exercise a, a great, great su success. It has plainly shown how a whole of government approach uh, comes together through unity of effort toward a common cause to, to be able to, re to react to anything that, that the nation could be prepared for. Far. So uh, big thanks go, go out to the Georgia Army National Guard, uh, go, going out to uh, U.S. Northern Co Command and to the total uh, Cree re response industry, which has showed up here to, to today, where you see our, our, our first responders uh, reacting to a, an event and, and, and the threats here up in the homeland. So I greatly appreciate y'all in, inviting us uh, here to, to today to be a participant in y'all's operations. And I think the operations were, were, were a great success to show the resiliency of, of us uh, Georgians here uh, inside the United States. So, so thank y'all for coming in and, and appreciate y'all for being here. Thanks. Good afternoon. Lieutenant Colonel Travis McCullough. I'm the commander of the 265th Chemical Battalion. Also, I'm the commander of the Seaburn Task Force. The Seaburn Task Force is made up of both Army and Air elements. And we fall under the 201st Regional Support Group, or the Region 4 Homeland Response Force, where we're responsible for the southeastern most states in this corner for eight states to respond to any domestic event that occurs. So what we bring to this organization as far as the capability standpoint, we bring in search and extraction capabilities, where we have rope rescue, blocking, bracing, cribbing. We also bring in medical elements, and those medical elements are primarily comprised of our Air Force team. We also bring in FSRT team, Fatality Search and Recovery team, and we have a case team. The case team is the Seaburn Assistance Support element. That team is responsible for marshalling the throughput into our footprint and out. So again, we really thank everyone for allowing us to participate in this operation. One of the main capabilities that we did bring was our decon team and our C2 or our command and control team. So the command and control team is responsible for actually executing the directives of the incident commander and working with local, state, and federal agencies to ensure we have a joint effort to complete our task here. So again, thank you for everything and we look forward to a successful event. Good afternoon. I'm Shane Sparagowski from Atlanta Fulton County Emergency Management Agency. And today we've got a great exercise that we've really worked together for the last two years on. This exercise is really the foundation of future exercises across the nation and Atlanta is really happy to host this. It's a collaborative effort between uh, our agency and also U.S. Northern Command. Uh, this exercise was not uh, based on any situation that's currently going and, and really we've planned this many years out. Uh, however, uh, this type of exercise really helps us work together for future responses, whether it's something natural disaster related or the unthinkable like a radiation uh, event from a nuclear weapon. Uh, we're really excited to have this integration between us and the Department of Defense and really look forward to creating the playbook for the rest of the nation. And really what we're doing here is working cradle to grave through the whole process. Uh, of course, they start in decontamination, but after that decontamination piece, there's really so many other pieces that are involved. And so we also inside have the Family Assistance Center that helps people get onto the path to recovery. 
Uh, in there, there's numerous services that are provided, you know, anything from mental health services to physical health services, transportation, shelter, feeding, uh, any resources they need. But additionally, it also serves as the place of reunification for families. Uh, also, unfortunately, it also serves as that location for uh, mortuary services. So we're really there to make it one-stop shop to make people whole and get them on the path to recovery here at the site. Thank you. Uh, I saw um, our county manager, uh, Dick, uh, was here. But at any rate, I just wanted to just say, first of all, I appreciate the collaborative effort of all that were involved. I've never seen anything this massive. I think at one time they may have had 500 people out here. And this exercise made me think about the saying that my um, late mother used to say, be prepared so when it happens you don't have to get prepared. And I just, as, a, as an elected official representing this area, kudos to the Department of Defense, to all of the municipalities, to all of the first responders, because I could imagine logistically how hard this was to pull off. But more importantly, while I'm standing here going through the tour, I have constituents in this area saying, Commissioner, what is going on? What's going on? So even they're being educated that their tax dollars are at work. We are out here in a collaborative spirit with all the municipalities and with all the defense departments and all of the individuals that sometimes we work in silos. And today out here, Everybody was a team. Everybody was working together. And as an elected official, I tell you, it was so refreshing just to see that there was no labels. It was just about getting the job done, being prepared, and making sure that what we learned, because I got a great education today, but what we learned is where we're strong, where maybe we may be weak, but more importantly, when it comes to those budget decisions, we must be prepared. We cannot look at stuff and say, put it on the back burner, or at some point, we'll try to figure it out in the budget. I rather for all of Georgia, the United States, but I represent Fulton County at this time, but I want all of us to be prepared in case of an emergency and to see the decontamination area for the dogs, to see the family assistance center, I mean, I know there were people that lost their lives in Katrina because they didn't want to leave their dog behind. And I think about me, I'm a dog lover. My dog is my fourth child. And in an emergency, if I had to go somewhere and get decontaminated, I may walk away if I can't bring my pet with me. Now that's something that, generally speaking, you wouldn't think about. Then I think about the fact that when I watch the actors and the decontamination center, and one of the actors came to me and said, have you seen my husband? I can't find my husband. Now she was acting, but it made me think the undertaking to reunify families in case of a, a disaster or a case of emergency. So I just wanted to say, as, a, as an elected official, sometimes we get in our own way and we become argumentative and we work in silos and this today was definitely a art, an example of how to work together as a team, the labels leave, and you make sure you do the best for humanity and society. And I applaud everyone involved. Thank you. So we have volunteers actually from all over the metro. Uh, we put out the word to all of our neighboring agencies uh, throughout the area. And uh, we've got volunteers here from citizen emergency response teams. We've got medical reserve corps volunteers. And then we have just friends who heard about it out here volunteering. So it's really awesome to see everybody come together. So they really take what information's out there and help them reunify with their family. 
Uh, I know it sounds simple, but it's really complex. Uh, when you start talking about that whole process, you know, where are they at in that process? Are they being deconned? Are they in a hospital? Uh, you know, unfortunately, have they passed away? Things like that are all taken into consideration, but that's really that central point where that information flow starts to happen. So they're able to connect the dots, or if the person's still missing, they're able to put that out that the person's still missing. And so as soon as they are found, then they're able to tell that family member, hey, we found your family member. They're on the way to the hospital right now, or they're on the way to the family assistance center. So it's really that full process. It's very similar. So uh, in any situation, whether it's something that's happened here or somewhere else and we have people coming in either to evacuate or take refuge, uh, the processes are still the same. The people are still the same. The partners that we're working with today are the same partners that we work with during those major events, such as a hurricane evacuation. So today we're actually out here at an exercise in Atlanta called Vista Forge where we have an unprecedented collaboration between U.S. Northcom, other military partners, and local and state partners where we are practicing our decontamination operations in response to an improvised nuclear device in the city of Atlanta. So I'm here today mostly as an observer. Um, I'm a PhD student at the University of Georgia where my research is creating a model that estimates the casualties in the aftermath of a nuclear disaster. And so today I'm here to ask questions, really better understand our operations so that my research can better support the local and state plans as we sort of look and review this exercise to better protect and serve the public in the future. I think today is a tremendous opportunity for all of the different agencies to learn from each other and really understand what assumptions we may have about various organizations. Uh, for me personally, it's been incredibly informative to get to ask various subject matter experts as well as operations personnel what they think is gonna happen, how they would respond, and help identify the gaps so that we can make our plans better.